Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for one of my longest running series, Sip and Thrift, where we go on some sort of thrifting adventure. We also stop to try something caffeinated along the way, but today is a Sip and Thrift with a twist because I am meeting up with my sister, Jacqueline, and we're gonna do a thrift swap. She told me about a thrift store I didn't know of, and I don't know if I'd actually categorize it as a thrift store. It seems more of like secondhand, like, you know, a Buffalo Exchange or a Crossroads or something like that, but it's called Pavement and it's here in Austin. And so what we're going to do is we are going to thrift for each other. I'm going to pick out things for her. She's going to pick out things for me. We're going to come back here. We're going to surprise each other with what we got and try it on and see how we did. I think this will be interesting because we have very different styles. She's three years younger than me, leans much more into the Gen Z, the tight crop tops, the oversized denim, the chunky sneakers, that type of vibe, kind of almost more like street wear-esque. I lean more feminine, more Parisian. I lean a little more millennial, even though I'm technically Gen Z as well. And then lately I've been kind of falling into more like light academia in terms of what my style tends to be. So we're like pretty, pretty polar opposite. So I think that this will be a fun experiment and I can't wait. Let's go do it. We made it talking between a song because the music's coming back but this place is awesome it's huge I think we're gonna each look for three to four things for the other person in our own personal style to try to push each other's comfort zone excited excited let's do it if this was a more muted color like not such a bright blue and green I'd be so tempted to get this but it's just a little too bright I think unfortunately but I think it's very cool okay this one is also very bold but I feel like, oh, oh, I'm about to lose a shoe. This is very fun. This could be really, really fun, especially like, I'm picturing it like beach winter situation. Is that a rip? Oh, there's a rip. Shoot. I think I gotta put it back if there's a rip. Currently, Free People is selling quilted jackets and I've loved them, but they're $600. But I just found this quilted jacket. The only thing is the size is XL. But I feel like you can roll the sleeves if it's, you know, a little oversized of a fit. And it's $16. The ones I've been looking at that I would never buy are literally $600. I think I have to get this. Okay, so a little overwhelmed because Michaela is much faster than me at this. And I'm just struggling. But I found two things so far. And I'm still not confident about them. Okay, I also feel like I don't really know what the style is right now. Especially for like fall, so that's also a struggle. And every time I go thrifting, I normally get stuff for Mark. And so I'm inexperienced, so just stick with me, guys. <laughs> So I want to get Jacqueline a dress and I found two but it's really hard to tell how they'd fit on the hanger so I'm gonna try them on before I get them for her this one I love it's actually anthropology and it's like a linen it has a twist front I just can't tell how it would hang around the hips and then this is stunning gorgeous I just cannot tell exactly what this tie sleeve situation is so we're gonna try them both on and I'll pick one for her concept of this one is so great but I could tell that the waist looked like it was kind of like droopy I can't tell if that makes it like kind of fun and relaxed or if that makes it look like it's been like worn and slash not not quite you know fitted okay well ignore my bra under this this is stunning but like way more formal than I was expecting it to feel so I really don't know if this is very practical, but I love the pattern. And then look at how fun, look at how long the ties are. I kind of feel like neither of these are practical enough. So maybe back to the drawing board. Glad I tried on the ones I'm unsure of. Hmm, it is pretty. So Jacqueline, how did your shopping go? It was very stressful. Was it stressful? <laughs> High stress situation. I walked in and I panicked. 
<laughs> Whenever I'm like start getting stressed, I like just become the most unproductive <laughs> person. Like I just start roaming the stores and just going to the same racks I've already been through. I so. think that's called avoidance. We don't have to get deep with this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited because there's a coffee shop I've been dying to try. And it doesn't show up on maps. Like I tried so hard to find it on maps. Um, and I think that's why I had hadn't found it until like almost a year of living here. I just drove by it one day. It's called Mignana, not to be confused with Mignana Coffee on South Congress. This is a different Mignana and they're like a surf shop. So they have like surf goods and coffee. Perfect. That's all I know about it. I literally don't even know what the inside looks like, but they have cute typography on the exterior, which for me is just an indicator of a cool place. That's all that I look for. In that's, that's all I look for. Cute type of It's place. right next to my favorite Mexican place. That's a good sign. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Matt, Matt El Rancho. Yes. Best food if y'all are ever in Austin. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. They're closed, even though Google said they're open, but Jacqueline's coming in clutch. She said that there's a different spot she knows of that I don't know of that has similar vibes on the water. This will be a fun little twist, a little mystery. So we found it, we think. It's called Alta's Cafe, Alta. And it's on the water, but on the downtown side. So parking's a little a little iffy, but I think you can rent paddle boards and kayaks here. Is yeah, right? I think it's like, I'm probably completely wrong, but I think it's right above the rowing center in the Austin. Rowing center, cool, I'm excited to see it. I just did what Jacqueline did, which is a iced oat vanilla latte. The sun is about to peek through, so sorry in advance, but first sip taste test. Oh, it's good. It's very sweet, oh, but it it's good. Yeah, I like it. They sell Kin here for $14 cheaper than you can buy it from Kin, which makes no sense. So I got really excited and got one. There's the sun. ready to show each other what we got. Let's do it. I think we should take turns. I got four things, you got three. Yes. So me, you, me, you, me, okay. me, you, me. Okay. I'm really excited about one item, so I'm gonna save that for last. Okay, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you ready for your first item? Mm-hmm. This vintage, silky, blue type of pajama shirt. It, it's kind of similar to what I'm wearing today, but I thought it'd be really pretty tucked and really pretty with your blue eyes. That's true. And your blonde hair. You could work in this, maybe. I might give you jeans to try this on with. Oh, true. So that we can get the full. I'm not wearing a good outfit. My casual. No, you look cute. leisure outfit. You look cute. <laughs> Let's try it on. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, I feel like I put Jacqueline in my pants, so you're starting to really look like me. I feel like Gotta wear French tucking and cuffing. Oh, French tucking. But I don't know, this is this is not this is like a pretty cropped shirt. Like there's not a lot of extra fabric. That's true. I feel like actually this is not loose enough to like get away with a French tuck. It looks a little too like workwear to me to do it that way. So I'm actually wondering if this would be cute. Ooh, like sailor vibes right now. <laughs> yeah. I will say I'm a little disappointed in the shirt. It's a pretty collar. I feel like the color is great on you. It's great, but it's just, I wish it was three sizes larger. It's pretty on you. I think it's pretty You different. actually could wear this to your job, like tucked into trousers. Especially us. like if I like crop it more. <laughs> it's a pretty color. It is a pretty color. I like the material too. Okay, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna get the most probably boring one out of the way. Okay. Just very simple piece. Okay. Basic. Oh, it's cute. For, for winter. Yeah. yeah, just a good kind of cropped us. What is this? This tag looks vintage. Repaved. I wonder if pavement. Oh yeah, here's the old tag. This is cool. There's the old vintage tag, and then they've added this on top of it. So I and think I that think, they did. I, I think that sometimes because I've seen like T-shirts that they do like this, where they like cut them and then like sew them together. Yeah. So I'm guessing that's kind of what they did with the shirt. Also, this was five bucks. Good job. Thank you. Let's try it on. Budget friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this sweater on me. It's cute. It's cropped. What are your thoughts? It's no, I'm not in this. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's, it's like simple. a layering piece. It's a little sheer. That's true. But I will say the thing that I like is- Oh, this... wow. It's really, 
didn't realize that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that slit goes all the way up. Interesting. That's kind of fun, though. You can't really raise your hand. It's only on one side. Oh. Do you think they just didn't finish it? <laughs> well, that looks kind of intentional, though. Maybe that's, like, the only thing that they changed about it. <laughs> Who knows? I can't quite tell. But I like it. It's a great I think it's cute. Basic piece. Yeah. Nothing special, but cute. All the rest are a little more wild. I'm going to show you a sweater. Okay. Oh wait, that, I saw that. Did That's you? fun. No, I it's was fun. I was kind of drawn to it because I really like the the neck, the neckline. It's like a knitted like mock neck, and then I loved just like how kind of worn the birds were, and I thought. You make it wear it like this, or if you wanted to crop it, that's always an option too. Yeah. Um, no, that's super cute. I feel like it's very vintage. I'm surprised you like it. No, and I saw one a lot like this too with caps on it, but someone else was going for it, and I was, uh, I was really tempted to get that. <laughs> to start a cat fight. Yes. I shut up. You should. But it was like the sweet old lady who was looking at the cat. Oh, her, let the so sweet old lady get the cat. I know. Yeah. So I wasn't gonna fight her today. <laughs> <laughs> if it was yesterday, it would have been a different mm -hmm. story. Let's try that. Are you stuck? <laughs> Why is this such a time though? This is meant for people with tiny heads. It's not me. <laughs> I'll let you style it. Okay. <laughs> this is actually so cute. I think I would just, I don't think I'd crop this. I think I would just tuck French, it. French, French tuck it. I actually love I this. I do too. I like the neckline a the lot. The neckline is really cute. Look at this. Look. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, way better than the other one. I will <laughs> say. Yeah, way better than the other one. I also feel like, I feel like this is the type of uh, sweater that you could like layer some gold necklaces mm. over. Look, that's so cute. I'll show them some close-up shots of this, but I feel like this is a win. This is, and it's warm. And it's warm. Okay, what's next? What do you got for me? Okay, this one. I am, I didn't try it on. I know that you tried stuff on. Did no, I only tried it on two things I didn't get. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I probably should have tried this on to see what the sleeves we're like, oh, because the sleeves seem kind of poofy, but it's oh, like it's a, a little romper. jumpsuit romper thing. That's cute. I liked the neckline though. What like you could have had like, even though I really don't own any fun necklaces, I don't know if you do. Endless rows. That just look kind of familiar. For like, fun necklace opportunity. Fun I don't know. Opportunity. <laughs> Let's see how it fits. Yeah, it's yeah, exciting. Good job. Thank you. It fits. I like it. It fits well. I feel like I grabbed this hair clip because I feel like. This would be really cute with hair clipped up. I think it's cute. I think it's really cute too. I normally don't go for things that are too like skin colory. Yeah, that's true. It's but it it's cool. more khaki than fleshy. Yeah. So I feel like I, I could actually wear it. And the waist is super comfortable. It's like fitted, but it's not tight. Okay. So it's like flattering, but yeah, it I could, fits you well. I could nap in this, you know? Yeah. I feel like this is giving me like husbands coming back from war vibes. <laughs> like Slight Rosie the Riveter. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. You're probably thinking of Rosie. That was during wartime. Let's think about female empowerment. <laughs> she can do it. Yes, she can. Um, yeah, the back has a little bit of poof that like you can kind of move to the front or the yeah, back. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. I would maybe take a in a little less. Yeah. If there's a little less fabric in the back, I think I would like it more. But it's very cute. I think it's cute too. Good job. It's comfy for sure. This is one that I also should have tried on just to see what the general sizing was because I feel like we're kind of the same size, but I didn't. So, um, it's a suede skirt. I don't think the sizing is right because this tag says it is a size small. Okay. Are these sizes that they circle down here? I cannot figure that out. I can't figure it out either, but I held it up to my waist and it looked like it fit and then the neck trick fits. Okay. Have you done that? You taught me that. Yeah. So perfect. Might be fun. It's longer, but it has the slit up the front, so it's like Ew, promiscuous. Kind of, kind of steamy. <laughs> I hope it fits you. Yay. This would be so cute if it actually fit. This is how it would look if it actually fit her, but this is how it fits. I don't know why it was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you can get suede altered easily, because this would be really fun and cute if this fit like this. It's Thank definitely you. finger tippling. Oh, I don't know if you can see the edge. <laughs> I have to keep backing up. <laughs> Too long for you. Is this the grand finale? The this is the grand finale. About? It's kind of a bold choice, but I liked it. Okay, it's like a white denim jacket with like 
fun little stitching things on it. It's so patriotic. I know, it's a great 4th of July wear, even though I'm sure it's way too hot outside to ever wear this on 4th of July. Wait, that's so but cute. But it looked super fun, so I don't really know how to hold this up. I feel like I'm just... <laughs> There's a star. There's a little heart. There's quite a few flags. This is fun, right? There's not a tag at all inside of this, so. I feel like it's gonna be like a fun, like oversized I look. I kind of wonder if this of was free. someone's like DIY project. It kind of looks like it, which is really fun. Good job. Thank you. Here's this one. I think it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> just just a little head <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> I'm really scared too because Max is here. I think this is a lot of fun. I think it's really fun. I kind of like the fit too. Do it's you know, a large. Oh, I just realized this is inside out. Do you know what this is giving me? Besides, it's giving. Besides 4th of July? Besides 4th of July, it's giving elementary school art teacher. Oh. Or the 4th of July sugar cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are good. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel like you should wear this next 4th of July over like a swimsuit. That's true. That'd be very cute. It'd be fun. That's fun. You too. <laughs> okay, you did a jacket and I found a jacket. And I gotta explain to you why I love this jacket. It's a quilted? Oh, it's kind of fun. Okay, but look, I said free people to them in the store, but I think it's actually made well as selling jackets exactly like this that I really wanted. So I clicked on it and guess how much they're selling them for? How much? Like $600. Oh, that's fun. I feel like quilting is a thing right now. It's coming back. Even for like bedding I've noticed. Like look at these, $575. Oh, wow. And I feel like this is kind of similar. We should sell you an outfit with it. I love this. It's cute. It's so cute. And warm. And like, I actually really like it with, this is just a workout tank that we just found, but like the black and black underneath, since this has so many different patterns and textures and colors, and it's perfect for fall and winter. It is. I love it. And the wooden buttons are precious. I didn't even look at the tag of this. Was there a tag? Oh, it's double it's buttoned. It's, and it's quilted on the inside. I just got a quilted jacket from Free People. Quilt, quilted, like, stitch is also very in right now. So it's like... Everything it's really about cute. This is really in right now. What are, What are your thoughts? Would you pick this out yourself? I would. Yeah. Really? I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you all for coming along with me on this video. If you have a specific thrifting challenge you would like to see, and or if you are Austin located and know of other spots you'd like me to check out, whether that's coffee shop, thrift store, vintage store. I also like to do vintage sip and thrifts. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking for more ideas and I love to hear your thoughts, but thanks for spending the day with us. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in another video very soon. So give me a sign, give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wonder.